Let's start by creating a new project, then choose between three types of it. You give it a name and assign the folder where you want to save it. From the development environment you can have the structure of the project, with all the resources available. While on the right there is the appropriate property window. Let's start planning. First, let's create two tag variables from the I.O. data server. With the right mouse button. We create the new variables. We can configure them using the properties window. You can also link the tags to the physical addresses of the PLC, but you can do it later. Now, let's create a new synoptic for a simple user interface. It is possible to define the main properties. By editing the synoptics, you can use the functions for alignments, the grid, the effects and more. Now, let's proceed to create a simple HMI using a pump, a tank and a pipe. Then we will proceed to the dynamic animations. Select the desired pump symbol from the symbol library. We will use the pre-animated symbols from the Digital Animated tab. And now, let's do the same thing for the pre-animated tank symbol. Position and size the symbol on the synoptic. Use Ctrl plus scroll to zoom the synoptic. Now, select the pipe object from the toolbox. Arrange the piping graphically as desired. You can use Shift plus click to add or remove line points. Each symbol or object can be configured with the properties window. Here we set the dimension of the pipeline thickness. Now, we need some command items. We insert buttons to control the pump. We want to set the green gradient color for the button. Now,
Now, let's insert a slider object to set the tank level. The synoptic graphics are done. Now we need to associate the tag variables to the objects. It is possible to associate tags to objects using the properties window. But we will now use drag and drop for the association. Select the desired tag and drag it to the object in the synoptic. For the buttons, we need to define the desired command. Let's set the tag value of command to assign the value 1 or the value 0. Now let's go and color the tube when the variable goes to on value. To do this, we use the animation window. Almost ready. Now we need to set up the project so that it displays our synoptic at startup. OK, finished. We are ready to carry out the project. Save the project and start runtime. The project is now running. Good job! We are done, the project works very well. Now we can stop the execution, Alt plus F4, and go back to editing.